this is Mirgloff Builds, and in today's video I'm going to be building a masonry mercer, which is basically a uh, guild that uh, is responsible for baking clay into bricks and uh, uh, for, uh, cooking, you know, stone from cobblestone. Anything that has to do with stone or bricks, basically, is what the uh, masonry uh, mercer is. Uh, tasked to craft or construct and uh, there is a bit of uh, off-camera work which I'll show at the end of the video but for now I'm gonna begin building right now
So the Mason's Mercer is now complete. As you see here. And we'll take a look at the exterior real quick before we uh, check out the top levels and the interiors. And I did use uh, wood fence posts, even though I've uh, previously mentioned that uh, using wood as part of the architecture is something that would not be happening. For this case, I would make an excep exception uh, as the wood poles or fences are part of a uh, structural supports for the architecture. Obviously not literally, but I needed to do something to add some uh, additional uh, flair to the exterior. And uh, this sort of uh, triangle thing here kind of uh, messed with the, uh, the whole symmetrical thing I could have uh, had with uh, pillars up the side here. So I decided uh, Go a little bit asymmetrical and just use some uh, fences, some fence posts. This is where the uh, uh, cobblestones turn to stone as well as with the bricks and they also uh, craft sand into sandstone here or in smooth sandstone. Anything that has to do with stone really. And this is identical to the previous room. And then the uh, the upper floor here is sort of uh, a recreational area for the uh, Mercer members. And there's also the meeting room where they uh, gather to hold votes for how they uh, should run the, uh, the Mercer. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll go up on top of a hill here so you can see the uh, roof. You can kind of see the uh, roof from here. It's got uh, sort of like a palisade meets a uh, facade uh, to the top of the roof there. And I was originally going to uh, have it be symmetrical in that there would be that structure right there, that top floor or second floor would be where the uh, recreational area is. But uh, the whole point of the uh, original point of the second floor is for a uh, for the meeting room and I, I couldn't figure it just didn't seem right to break up sort of like a uh, the meeting room into two separate rooms because democratic decisions have to be made if everyone present you can't have two groups during a, uh, a uh, in-person vote uh, event so I decided just to make uh, sort of a recreational area using uh, leaves and I'm not disappointed in how it turned out anyways thanks for watching there will be a uh, oh I'm sorry there's uh, some off-camera work to be shown nothing substantial as far as uh, structurally I haven't built anything structurally I've done a lot of uh, digging and mining away at this hill here to level it out. And also obviously I uh, am beginning the works of laying out roads here. And there will be a sewer system beneath the roads. I haven't placed the half slabs here yet because I'm going to dig down and uh, dig out the uh, sewers beneath the roads. And there's a lot of empty space in this plot here, simply because when I uh, began laying out these structures here, I hadn't actually uh, come up with a plan on how I want to uh, lay out the roads. But you'll see this, uh, this built, these buildings here, this uh, Mason's Mercer, follows a distinct design. It's four spaces from the road on either side on all sides with the exception of any kind of uh, flare that sticks out from the main structure and I'm going to be putting another road through the middle here uh, it will be right here just a small road in between uh, another building that's going to be over here I don't know what I'm going to build here next but that's probably the next space that I'm going to be building on 
and I've done a lot of uh, filling in. There's a lot of potholes sort of full of water. I've been going and filling them with cobble and sand on the surface. That's what I've been doing off camera. That and uh, mining for resources like iron and coal. Anyways, thanks for watching. There will be more videos to come. And see you later.